for years. We've been, we sacrificed way to control blood sugars until we realized in the last four or five years that we have to, in controlling these patients, we have to control blood sugars and weight at the same time. We are using more and more the medications that do not increase weight. Okay. So we're using a lot of metformin and we're using what they're called the GLP-1 analogs, mm -hmm. Bayera and Victosa, mm -hmm. because patients lose, lose weight with that. So we are uh, going to that and trying to avoid sulfonylureas because you increase weight. And by the way, with insulin, once we put a patient on insulin, they, they gain about uh, eight or 10 pounds. Oh, absolutely. That has been proven time after time. If you control blood sugars, okay, the cost at the end is much less because the minute your patient gets blind, the minute your patient requires <coughs> dialysis, the minute your patient has a severe heart attack that makes them disabled, medical and non-medical costs and social costs just skyrocket. So an ounce of prevention here is tremendous. In, in diabetes, uh, diabetes is the best example of uh, prevention paying up in, in the long run. They are a particular in China. Okay? What they've done is Dr. Chang took a new patient with type 2 diabetes, they put them on an insulin pump for a week, controlled their blood sugars very rapidly, and diabetes disappears in 80% of them for two or three years. And that's what we call glucose toxicity, glucotoxicity. You know, if you cut down on the toxicity of, of, on the glucose, uh, if I do a gastric bypass on a patient, same thing happens. You know, as you decrease the blood sugars, the beta cells, for reasons that we don't understand and I wish we knew, all of a sudden get a second win and start functioning much better. And blood sugars get better for the next year, two, or three. Now, uh, it is, having said that, second, I'm yet to find a patient who comes to me and says, Dr. Rolla, please put me on insulin. Okay? They all fight with you. I mean, you, you're giving them four, five, seven, you know, six, seven pills. They're still out of control. And, uh, uh, and you tell them, I mean, it, it, you have to literally fight with them. Once you fight with them, okay, and once you convince them, and once they get the first injection of insulin, then it becomes second nature. But it's very difficult. Now, I have done, in, and I offer this to my patients, just to do intensive insulin treatment for about a week or two. And I would say only about 20% of patients accept that. Okay, it's, uh, 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 even though we did in, in half of them, not all of them, the results in this country are not the same as in China. We don't have as much, uh, so many good results as they do in China. Uh, uh, but about half of them, blood sugars normalize and they don't need any treatment and I'm still following them. 